Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. It's another session today. Good evening, everyone. Okay, as usual, Instagram, tell more followers to join your video. I am waiting for them to join this video right away. Good evening, everyone. It's another session today. I'm so excited about today's session. Okay, start joining the people. I'm so excited about today's session. Yeah, we got one person. Hey, thank you, CC. It's good to see you. It's been a while. Mm. I purpose with Ted B. Thanks, sister. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. <laughs> How are you doing? Good to see Dickiness patients in the house. Good to see you. Thank you for joining in. Thank you, sister. Thank you for always supporting me. Thank you. I appreciate you. And we couldn't just forget your session in a hurry we really enjoyed ourselves <laughs> yes yeah, so today's session is on choice making yeah how can single people make the right choice when it comes to life partner yeah so i guess we're going to join me in a few minutes time but before then let me appreciate everybody for joining a few seconds for appreciating people thanks for joining in moa i saw you yesterday thanks for your support all through yesterday thank you for being there i appreciate you yeah yeah thanks all right so you're welcome to today's session on singles and marital choices and uh, i am your very host and my name is bukola ikani someone is saying you're yoruba and your son name does not sound like a yoruba person yes i'm married to uh, a kingdom man that i hid from a those states and i can tell you i've been enjoying my life because it's not about tribe it's about the kingdom so today i hope you're not going to make your 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 life partner choice based on uh, based on tribe, it's not about being. Uh, it's not about where I'm from, or probably Yoruba or Edo. It's about the kingdom. Yeah, when two kingdom, you know, people come together to get married, you know, trust me, it's going to be an amazing ride. And I've been enjoying that ride uh, for the past eleven years now. Okay, so I'm Bukola Ikani, <laughs> and I'm married to an amazing man, Michael Ikani. A very wonderful friend that God gave me a gift that I wish every single out there should be blessed with such a man even more even greater and better than that okay all right so today we're talking about a very special topic you know how to make choice of a life partner all right so and so many people think that it's all about the looks it's all about the physical appearance actually it, it's part of the you know of the of the tools uh, of, I mean of what to look at actually uh, how the person looks the height and all of that but when it comes to the most important thing I think we need to get it right when it comes to that um, the height is okay yes for me I never asked God for the height I, I wasn't um, particular about the look when it was time for me to get married I didn't look about I mean think I mean focus on the look I mean I wasn't a physical driven or let me say I wasn't variable driven at uh, the height of the guy you know his, uh, his color uh, the where he's from and all of that I wasn't talking about that all I want from God is God a man after your heart I remember I said uh, a kingdom man a man that loved the law with all of his heart that is sold out to the things of the kingdom such a man that can help me even i mean grow the more in the knowledge of christ all right so that was what i was particular about when i was about to you know 
make the choice of a life partner i told god is it about your son if it's not your son then i'm not ready for anything because i know once it is a son i'm i'm going to be you know comfortable with my skin i'm going to enjoy my life and which i'm enjoying right now in my marriage okay and so i said god give me give me a, a i mean a leader and not a boss I was so much interested about that. I want a man that is a leader, not a boss. Because I know there are two different things, a boss and a leader. A leader will lead you effectively. A leader will be an example to what he or she's trying to model to you or to tell you about that thing. You know, not uh, a boss will go to boss you around. You barely learn effectively under a boss. Someone that just boss you all about. But if you're a leader, then your leadership skill is going to you know be an amazing uh you know amazing tool in your leadership uh journey as the head of the home which i really look uh, look for i mean look out for in the man that god gave to me and i have everything so how do we choose a, uh, a life partner what do we look out for everything in line with that will be discussed today my guest asked me to give her like 10 minutes going to join us by 7 10 okay all right so but, but before she come up let's just have this conversation together now what what do you think is important for you to look at for uh in your marital choice making probably you're a single person you're online today and you're wondering how am i going to choose a life partner i don't understand people say so, some people say pray some people say god says the lord uh, but me how do you think i should go about my you know my choice making when it comes to a life partner some people say i don't understand what to do i know i love it i mean a very tall guy good looking and all of that i think my guest is in the house yeah all right just let me request lady t yeah 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 you know some people say they want a very tall guy look my sis today we're going to just dive into that discussion and we're going to learn together on what we should look out for. I see you, Pastor Beast. I see you. Oh, Elsie is here. <laughs> Good to see you. She's right here. Hey, Good evening. Pastor. Woman of God. I hear you. <laughs> Please, Mark, continue. Let me distract you. Ah, okay. 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 Just a little, just for like a few minutes while I'll fix All right. So, all right. As I was saying, some people are like, well, what should I look out for in making the right choice? And some people say you should pray and pray and pray and pray and fast and fast and fast and go to a mountain, to another mountain. Some people say, no, just the look is okay for me. The eyes, you know, how sexy he looks or she looks. Uh, the color is okay. Oh, the tribe. Oh, the tribe. Oh, no, no, no. The name. The name. I want to be Bukola Wilson. You know, when a guy that come and say, I'm Peter Wilson. Oh, that name, you know, track is called Wilson. Oh, and I'm going to be called mrs wilson you know things like that so we're going to find out from our guest today what actually what area how do we put the balance what do we do actually how do we get to make the right choice and she wants to tell us about her own journey as well uh why is it pastor dami i know that dami is very intelligent handsome is that all about it about this about it yes so she'll go to help us today or is that about pastor dami so dummy eloquent, you know, because he speaks so well, and intelligent. It's all about that. Okay, so go to hear from LT in all of this. So singles of people on the on the on the call tonight, just relax, get your pen, get your book, ready to learn, okay? And then trust me, you will leave this call tonight blessed, transformed, yeah. no more confused, but like to come to you in the name yeah. of Jesus. And if you have any question, please do just drop it on the call. So we can look into it together. All right, so Elsie. All right, so so thank you for coming tonight. I really appreciate you. Um, I didn't just call you for this topic. I've seen what you do, and then uh, you know everybody that that I actually call for this conference with different topics because they have the ability and the grace actually to bless us so that we can get um from the well of wisdom of what they know. I know you're capable for this session, and God told me that, so I'm not really. I'm relaxed because I also want to learn so that I can help other people out there too. Okay, so single people and the marital choices. We really want to just share light tonight on how they can go about that. All right, so let's start with Juma. How can single people make a right marital choices? Okay, first of all, thank you very much, PB. Like, I really believe you. I don't know how to put it, but I believe you. I believe your ministry. Thank you so oh. much for I'm very grateful. 
and Thank and you. i've looked at the lineup of people that have come and honestly from my heart i'm like well these are very solid people and these are people i have a relationship with i think maybe apart from the first lady that spoke in one way or the other so i know that this is god i know that this is weighty stuff i know that this stuff and my prayer is just that people will really take it on and you know apply these things all right and i'll come to that so thank you once again for yeah. I, I see you, Sister Kemi. I see you, my I'm, sister. <laughs> I'm strengthened in Jesus' name. Sister Kemi. Amen. Yes. Me. Good evening. <laughs> TB and TV. Favor and all my people. Everybody. Good evening. Good evening. So, let me get into it. Right. How do people make the... Yeah. You know, the long, it's a long list, but let's just try and do Very. what we can. Yes, yeah, we right. can. Some things that are foundational, at least start with these things. Yeah. So, first of all, I like, yeah. have words marital choice so first of all it's a marital decision it's not a business transaction so the terms and conditions are very different in a business transaction you can say okay valid for the period of two years yeah. you can say um, if this person does this then we cut off and we collect 50 percent interest from you you can have all those sort of things <laughs> Um, yeah. it's, it's but it's not a business. It's not a business transaction. It's not a yeah. friendship choice. Friendship is part yeah. of it, but your friend, you don't have any duty obligation to come back to your friend at come night. Come on, that's but right. <laughs> come to your spouse. So it's not. Um, it's not even a ministry choice. So today I want mm. to go to TPH. Tomorrow I want to come to Kings. Next tomorrow I want to go mm. to another. Do you understand? Mm. You can change church. Even mm. if the pastors are all anointed, God can actually lead you to change church at a point. And you yourself mm. can actually they can change church. But God mm. will not lead you into another marriage once you have been That's married. That's right. I so love it, that. Yes. So it's very important that you understand these two terms that you have um, chosen, marital choice. So you need to learn what marriage is about. The good thing about marriage is I don't usually like to use the word partner, but I, like, I, I can use life partner. So life partner mm. um, indicates that this person is all-encompassing. Mm. It has to do with life. So while it's not a yeah. business transaction, it's not a ministry choice, it's not a friendship choice, this person must produce good fruit in all these areas mm. in your life. Mm. So that's the first sign you can begin to look at. It is very key. The principle of increase is... How will I even say it? Is the seed that God breathed mm. into us in him. So he created them man and woman. He blessed them. He breathed into them and he said, increase, multiply, have dominion. So when you are not increasing and you're not having dominion, there's a disconnect between you and the mm. kingdom principle. So whoever you are getting married to, while it's not all of those things, it must bring different elements of business growth in your life, wow. ministry growth in your life, ministry growth in terms of the purpose and calling that God has placed in you. It must bring those growths in your life. Now, the person might not be an expert in all these things. A CEO mm. is not an Everybody knows that. A CEO is probably yeah. sometimes the dumbest person in the building, but mm. he has enough to hire the best people into his building, yeah. right? The person might not be an expert in all these things. Funny enough, he might even be more intelligent than him or her. But the person must be mm -hmm. able to blame those areas of your life so mm -hmm. that you... Mm -hmm. So that's the first angle. It's a marital thing, right? The second yeah. word there is choice. Mm -hmm. It's your mm -hmm. choice. Choice. It yeah. is your choice. Now let me mm -hmm. approach this from a couple of angles. Number one. God has ordained it for more people than not to get married. Uh, mm. there are some people, the Bible has told us that some people are eunuchs, referring to men, but I guess it can apply to women. Some people are eunuchs for different reasons. But there are a few people like that, like Uncle Paul, Izzy Peter, mm. that God called mm. into singlehood. Mm. There are not many of us. And I don't mm. think there's any this call like that. In fact, the reason you are here is because you want to marry. So, uh -huh. so let's <laughs> yes. so, It's a choice. And but the emphasis I want to make is that it is your choice. choice. It is your choice. So your pastors can guide you. Your parents can guide you. Um, you can listen to messages and all of that. But it's your choice. Now, the issue with that now is if you don't know yourself very well, if you don't know what marriage is about, 
if you don't know how men think and how women think because one thing i really mm. like guys is i mean sometimes girls get into relationships and they think they are getting into a relationship with their bestie with their girlfriends mm. and a man is mm. different from a woman so you start yeah. saying overly 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 and i'm not saying that men should not <laughs> no room for improvement we'll come to that hopefully yes. But he starts saying things like, he, he's, not, he's not as sensitive, he's not as sensitive, he's not as sensitive. He did not even notice that I changed my hair. You start crying, 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 crying. You don't give yourself attention. That one. <laughs> that one. Uh -huh. <laughs> you pay me, you know the things now. You take time I can relate. for a man to become um, more naturally disposed to such things. But if you are killing yourself about that, because you know when you meet your girlfriend, in fact, from the time you're in the salon, they already know you're in the salon. Talk less of when you now mm. come up see your hair now but my guy is mm. not thinking like that so if you don't know about yourself if you don't know what marriage is about if you don't know what the other gender is about mm. and then if you don't know the calling of god for your life those four mm. things mm. it's not unlikely that you will make the wrong personal choice mm. so putting those things together in marital and choice i think it's a good foundation to start from in making mm. A marital decision. What is God saying about you as a person? Mm. About you know, about the institution of marriage. Because some people think marriage is just to make them happy, and I always say it. Yeah. The marriage is not to make you happy. No, I know. As in, I'm too clear on it that one of the reasons by God's grace, my husband and I cannot divorce is because of the people on this call, not because mm. I'm trying to make appearances. No, mm. yeah, to you as a purpose in my marriage that marriage is Come a. Okay. That working on God. Yes. I understand. Okay, let me not jump the gun. Let me stop there for now. Let me allow you to ask your next question, ma'am. Wow, wow, wow. I'm already enjoying myself. I hope you enjoy yourself on the call tonight. I'm already I... you know, those four those four foundational things are so powerful, very powerful. You can't just jump it. It's like you go to school and you start from a uh, kindergarten, you go to uh um, nursery, then to primary school, secondary school. You can't jump a process mm. you follow mm. the process then you come to that time sorry seriously that process is very important you need to follow through that process don't jump yeah. don't do the promotion that that they will pay for and you want to just jump out of that process you can't just jump out of this process all right so let's start with you lt some people are like mm. you see pastor that is a beautiful man of god man of god those people they don't know how they will always say that we should close our eyes, we should pray and all of that. And then it's only them making this heavy as in they will, they will, they will go out and they will get a lady or they will go to get a man and it's so easy for them. There's something they are doing that we are not understanding it. And they should know that it's, we don't jump process. We follow through. In fact, it's even other than the way they think it's, it's very easy for us to get a life partner. So kind of share your journey. So help someone on the call tonight that is not uh, all right. So just share your journey. It might not be everything, but mm -hmm. the key thing about your journey of our meeting freedoms and how it happened and did you hear God? Or was it butterfly in your tummy? Was his eye? Please just, just, just help us tonight to, to have an understanding of that. Knowledge about that right now. Yes. Okay. Let's start. Let, oh, yes. let me help. People that are in my community or people have read my book, they are tired of saying this thing. But sorry, you don't be hearing it all the time. You um, say it though, we're not tired. <laughs> um, oh, first of all, um, don't make anybody your standard. Yes, Paul says, imitate me, follow me as I follow Christ. I'm not saying don't have yeah. mentors. That's something I'm going to emphasize on. One of the ways to learn about marriage is to have mentors. And I think um, some, I think it was you or Ladu that hinted it here. Um I can't remember what I had to say now. You, you, need, you need mentor. Okay, yes. I think it was during your session. You know, there are a lot of publicity okay. about bad marriages. And that is yes. the business of the entertainment industry. That is the business mm. of to publicize mm. bad news. That is how they yeah. make their money. Their tabloids will not sell. How will you be if they are mm. posting That's true. X, Y, married for five years and happily in Christ. The paper will not sell. Mm. One that will yes. sell is broken up after three days um, yes. broken up after three months now goes back to ex-husband that's one that will sell so but mm. because has the money and has the resources to push this bad news people now begin yes. and say ah this is what is going on this is what's going on but it's not true mm. Mm, just take on. your time 
your own research, ask questions, hook up with sessions like this, follow people like PB, follow people like uh, me, yes. like Laju, as we follow, yes. realize that right. we are really not in the minority. We are Come really on. not in the minority. Come so the on. first thing is don't, be, don't make anybody your standard. Um, you can do your own, because I have people in my inbox, and like you and Peter, I'm just seem to have it so easy. It looks easy when people are putting the work to do it. Yes. Or when they have been intentional. Because they have been intentional, mm. it looks as if it's easy to you. No. There are days mm. when I'm let's say, can you just go and wash your towel? There are some days when I'm mm. for goodness, sake, can you just stop snoring? There are days like that. There are days like when we're cutting, how can you go to 7 p.m. before you call me? What's that? Who does that? But because we have put in the work intentionally of being intentional, how it looks easy. And now we are coasting. Because we've done the intentional part. So now we are coasting. Come on. We had mm. the cautions early on. And so now we're, mm. we're literally best friends. So the first thing, don't make anybody mm. your standard. Follow us as we follow. But don't make anybody your standard. You can be happy too. And you don't have to. You yeah. can you be as happy as um, P. Dams and LT. You can be happier than P. Dams and LT. Come on. Get? That's one too. Yeah. Don't be. I always say this. I, keep, I feel like I'm sounding like a broken record, but I'll say don't be afraid. I always say that when men are um, singles, especially ladies, but even ladies and guys, when you want to go into a relationship, man, can you still hear me? I can hear you very well. Okay. That's when you start calling PB. That's when you start entering DM. That's when you start fasting. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> I want to make the right choice. How do I know it's the right one for me? Meanwhile, when you wanted to do job interview, you were not in our DMO. Yes. <laughs> But you did not enter our DMO. We just saw it on Instagram. <laughs> you are now yes. having, you didn't enter our yes. DMO. So mm. calm down. Farabale, the Bible says, be anxious for nothing. Nothing including relationships. Yes. yes, but with supplication and thanksgiving, make your request known to God. And the peace of God that transcends all human understanding will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. So the price for peace is prayer. You pray your way through mm. to it. Right? Mm. Then the Bible goes for in that same Philippians say that whatever things are true, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, think mm. about these things. Mm. Susan, can you still hear me? What is Susan? Uh, yes, yes, it's happening. This is network. It's trying to load or something. Okay. You're back. Can you hear me now? You are back. Yeah. For my side. You are okay. Are we back? Yeah, I can hear you now. He's happening again. <laughs> hey, Father God. Okay. All right. I can see you now. Okay. Okay. Thank God. All right. Yes. So um, don't be afraid. And so that scripture before that goes to say, think about things that are lovely and of good report. So like we said, don't be thinking mm. about statistics. Think about the good ones. Think about the good testimonies yeah. and everything. That is saying with my side. Why are you judging my network now? <laughs> okay, no, I hope it's right. It's, it's loading. Network, behave to deal, please. Don't let me go and enter my country to this call. Low. <laughs> I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Right? So don't be afraid. Yeah. Um, my journey really and is the same thing I always say. From my, I started learning from, from relationships very PB, I'm sure you remember now singles, Pastor Bimbo and all of that. Yes, yes. Uh, so, so I was really young when Pastor Bimbo was, was alive. So I used to buy tapes, yes. but I never really used to attend singles. Yes, so. But once I got into uni, yeah. then I started going for singles regularly. Uh oh, turn up again. 
Can we hear me now? I can hear you now, but it's it's, it's fluctuating. Okay. Okay, I can hear you. All right. So I used to go regularly. I think what a lot of yes. these days is that they go for IG live. They go for one major conference. But usually what you you might get some things from there, but generally what you will get is excitement. You will get a lot of rush, yes. a lot of adrenaline. But if you don't do it consistently, right. you don't build on the principles, right? Mm. So this one now yes. be an elder are talking. Uh, mm, you need to consistently load yourself, <laughs> otherwise the battery power will run down. Because yes. what I is that a lot of good ladies good intended when they start you yes. and hey. questions <laughs> that mm. i didn't even think about before and there and then i get answers i bring my isolation this marriage thing yes mm. so ladies are there writing notes to go as well so both of you are hearing the same thing. Not that you will not marry, you will not be like, no, that's not what my, that's not what my mentor said. <laughs> so going, going through that really, really helped me. That was, that was number fair. one. The second thing was I began to understand more and more with greater clarity who God wanted me to be as a person, as a speaker, and for me to say, I ah, know you, you don't match. You, you don't match. You, you don't yeah, match. Yeah, yeah. Then, you know, get... But I keep on saying, I didn't hear the audible voice of God saying, P. Downs is my husband. But because he aligned with what my pastors had taught me, it aligned Come with on. who God had told me going to be. And it aligned with my personal preferences. Yeah. I didn't want a guy. Yeah. So it's a blend of things. Now, however, let me put a caveat on this personal preference thing. A lot of times we quote the scripture in Psalms that says, the Lord will grant me the desires of my heart. But we forget the scripture in Philippians 2.9 that says it is God that causes us both to will and to do according to his That's divine true. pleasure. And also the scripture that says those who are led by the spirit are sons of God. So That's really true. and truly, the desire I have in my heart as a believer is the desire that God has put there. Come on. So if I'm working just in my own desire, my own flesh, <laughs> Or you're, you're on your own. So <laughs> on your own. <laughs> that helped me. The funny thing, like I just said about the girls that have things on paper. I was one of those girls as well. I had things on I paper. I knew where I was but I was dating people that did not look like it. Because mm. I didn't feel like a, I didn't feel a person was possible. I did not in my wildest see that I could have a man who was all encompassing. So my thinking was, you know, let me just deal with what I have. You know, patch, mm. patch, 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 patch. Yeah. I will help him grow spiritually. You know, if we compromise here and there. <laughs> yes. I Mentoring your husband. Yeah. I searched all over. I couldn't find nobody. Right? <laughs> yeah. But the Bible says, wait on the Lord. Be strong and courageous. Wait mm. on the Lord. Mm. Right? Um, so if mm. I met, like, oh my God, what have I been doing all my life? And that was pretty much wow i can actually relate what with what you just said you know it's very very helpful like following pastor being but listening to messages to seminar you know i also have a, I mean, a list of the man i want to go I and mean, that, that god should give to me but until we align what is on the paper you know with what is on our heart that nothing will happen or what is god saying about that and that's what make it to be a reality that what is on the paper mm -hmm. can translate into in a reality of what we really want to experience and have, I mean, for marriage. So you have said this very, very profound. There's nothing much like that, that we need to have, I mean, listen to people that can help us. And then, like you said, you, you invested into, you know, attending seminar, conferences and knowledge and keep reading about what you really want to have. Because until then, we might not be able to have what we really desire to have. And like you said, you have been having wrong people coming to your life until you make that decision. After, you know what? I really want what God really wants for me. And that, and that, that happened mm -hmm. to you. Okay, so people do say this like, okay, so Ed, what do you say about, uh, about the look? Because <laughs> some people say that P. 
prayer is, is, is the key thing when it comes to uh, a life partner. They will tell you it's 100% spiritual. Okay? Yeah. So does that mean that they cannot look at the physical, you know, uh, like the variables, the eyes and the whole? Should we just say it's prayer and nothing more? And even if the guy mouth is smelly, he does not brush or he's not wear kept or the girl hair is always smelling and all of that. So should we just focus on so long she's a child of God, she's born again or is born again, fine, that's okay. What do you say about that? Let's be balanced with that because some people are like, it's prayer. Some say, no, I don't think it's prayer. It's prayer plus this or prayer not at all. Physical appearance alone is okay for looking out, I mean, to look out for in a life partner. What do you say about that? Airports with that. Yeah. yeah. If you only pray and don't look at those looks and other things there, eh, you have... What am I not hearing? I have wandering eyes. Or go and tell Can I hear you, ma? Oh my God. Can you hear in me now? Or... Okay. Yes, I think I can. Changing my location will help. Okay. children's voices. <laughs> so let me try and go to the passage. Yes, so we are told now. What do you think? <laughs> so sorry. Can you hear me now? I can't see you yet. Yes. Okay. Are we sure? Let me know if you can. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. All right. So I was talking about yeah. looks. Yeah. Yes. And I was prayer and all. That. Yeah. If you only focus on prayer and you don't pay attention to how the person looks or how the person smells or not, you are the one that eventually use your leg to run out or God forbid <laughs> cheat or God forbid that have me wandering eyes. So it's very important because you are the one going to spend the rest of your life with this person. Come on. You're going to sit next to this person. You're going to go for social meetings with this person. You probably might go for business meetings with this person. You want to be proud of the person you are with. And this is not even about being um, um, vain. God created the world. And after each day, he said, come on, I did a good job. And he was yes. not being proud. He was like, I, I love that. I, I tried. Well. I feel well. <laughs> if somebody could give him some money, you uh, hey, could, could collect yes. money now. Some <laughs> So it's not about being um, prideful. It's about knowing that you deserve the best. It's about knowing that you also need to be spiritually compatible, yes, but socially compatible, emotionally compatible, physically compatible, right? Because you want to be proud of this person. You don't want to start comparing this person to another person. So you don't else. want to start thinking, I, I had been with that other person instead, right? And you want your friends and other people around you to say, oh, this person is a babe, this person uh, is a blow, right? Yes. And you don't want to also be... Um, you know, you, you are dressing well and then your spouse is not dressing well. That doesn't say nice things about you. Because if you are progressive, then the person you are with should automatically be progressive as well. So you need to blend and arrange them both. Um, like we're saying, it's not as if you... Because the Bible says in um, Proverbs 31, charm is deceitful and beauty will fade. But a man, who, a woman who fears the Lord will be praised forever. Yes, that is the core. Yeah. I mean, when yeah. Adam saw Eve, he was tripped. He was wowed. And you know, yes, they didn't discuss. They didn't say, okay, are we emotionally compatible? Are we socially compatible? They started <laughs> yes. that one and they go But the first thing was like, oh my God, woman, you are now okay. Exactly. You need to be tripped. So what tickles your fancy? What might be appealing to me might not be appealing to you. But you, you yes. And then just for a human being, you should not be smelling. Whether you are going to date me or not, don't be smelling. Whether you are going to marry me or not, don't have body odor. Brush your mouth. Be well kept. You don't know where your destiny will meet you. So please put yourselves together. Exactly. 
that's just it. it just if for yourself, for yourself, yeah. you don't even look healthy for yourself. Talk less of getting married to somebody, you know. So some people just say they are praying, and you see, you know, there was a day a guy was telling me something that there was a lady that really so much like that lady, so much. But each time they are together talking, it's as if I mean, I I have nowhere kept men on the sign. I'm not, I'm, I'm not against signing of, uh, of, of uh, uh, you know, of signing of scalp, no. But he said that he really liked the girl, but to even talk about what is on his arm, he couldn't because when it just makes it close to him, I mean, be close to him, like this, see something just oozing out from the hair, somewhere, you know, smelling. I'm like, okay, have you let him know? He said, ah, he doesn't, I mean, he doesn't know how she's going to take it. Another one is about the lady that said, that said a guy that she really liked the guy. But each time he speaks like, like this, oh my God, they are both in the fellowship. He can pray. He's very, you know, fire brother. But his mouth, oh my goodness, the odor is something that she could not even, you know, stand. And so that's why we are talking about the fact that so many people will have find a love, I mean, their life partner, nothing is wrong with them except the physical, you know, the, 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 the physical appearance. You yeah. know, they are not well kept, you know, they 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 ignore the, the the their body and they are just a spirit being praying and all of that and not taking care of their skin mm. of their body and all. For me, is 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 um it's before the guy will come and meet you. Yeah, men are moved by what they see, so I know what they see. Even if you have something mm. in your body, okay, and that will take me to uh. Pastor people will say, uh, ah, oh, I'm like forget now. Oh, that to remind me, remember about this thing. Content and content, yes. Eh, eh, Pastor Bimba yes. will say, content and container. Yeah, I think this is where the balance of Comes that is in. from. Content, container, content. Mm -hmm. You are born again. You you know the Lord. You have some scripture in you. You know God's word. Yeah, but the container that is carrying the content is not Most really often. okay. How mm -hmm. would they know that you carry such a content if the container is not really appealing? It's appealing. not attractive. Nobody will know you have so much content to offer. So, you mm -hmm. I mean, she will say, content and container. If you like praying, you only go speak in tongues. But if you are smelly or you are not well kept, nobody's going to come near you. And she told us about her story too, you remember? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Her story about her mouth then. <laughs> the pastor that would just have to let her know that, you know what? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. I remember that Simon. It's also it's also in the Bible. You know, in the Bible in First Thessalonians, it says that present your whole bodies to Christ. Your spirit, mm. your soul, body is there in the Bible. So God doesn't just expect you yes. to take care of you. He expects you to take care of your soul, your mental faculties, and then your body. Come. We also read about Daniel and three Hebrew Hebrew boys. And, yes. and um the king told the king told them, choose for me, set men for me that are worthy to Ooh. come into the palace, that are knowledgeable in all forms of literature, men that are good yes. looking. Good looking. So there's, there is, there's a posture you need to have in so your it's spiritual scriptura. body. It's scriptural. So you need to be balanced to a palace. Pardon? It's scriptural. It's very scriptural. Yeah, scriptural. Yeah. A king or meet a queen, and then you are not dressed and ready to meet a king or a queen. So it's very scriptural. You you have to blend blend the two both of them together. Wow, wow. Okay, so what? Okay, okay. I want to remember this. Please, if you have questions, please put it on the call. Let's uh, answer it together. All right. So what do you say about um the God factor? Because like you said when you were talking, some people like they will come to tell somebody that I know about the guy that said it. She it saw a lady. Uh, she was fetching water and then. Along the line, he happened to be the one to come and help him. I mean, help her wife fetching the water. And that God said, That is your wife. Some people tell you that God showed them the picture, and the other person would tell them, would tell the guy, No, God didn't show me any picture. And they will be mm -hmm. so sure about God says, Number one. Number two, what do you say about a prophecy? Like, they don't know they are meant to be married to each other, but a prophecy was uh i mean was told about them that see you know what you guys are meant to be together and the two people in the in the picture they were not aware about it 
So what do you say about the God factor? Number one, God says the Lord. And secondly, the prophecy. Because I see people that got married. This one is not a story I read anywhere. They were elderly people and they, they were having issues. And when I asked the woman the question, how did you guys meet? Because I always ask you, where did you meet each other? What's the foundation? Where are you coming from? And she said, well, uh, there was a prophecy in the program that the man is her husband and then that's how they got married and now she's tired. There's no personal conviction. There is nothing she could say that she know about this marriage, you know. So she couldn't just even enjoy her life. Right now, at the moment, they went a separate way. There's nothing I said that woman. She just went out and she left because it was two prophecies. Some prophecies were very right. I know some people will tell you uh, that someone said this and they come to pass, but some it wasn't. So what do you say about a God factor in the uh, in the marital choice and then the prophecy aspect of it. You see, there are very many scriptures that say there are many, very many scriptures that answer this for us. If we just read our Bibles and listen to the Holy Spirit, that already give us as to this. Um, first of all, in terms of prophecy, I'm so sorry. I'm still learning my scripts, but I know it's in Second <laughs> Corinthians. It says that prophecy is for exhortation for encouragement and for edification. Encouragement, edification, um, um, and comfort. Those three things. Comfort, education, and in any mm -hmm. prophecy is not doing those three things in your life. If it's making you confused, if it's making you agitated, if it's making you um, discouraged, depressed, running helter-skelter, then it's not of God. Because even if the prophecy is true and and you haven't seen it, what we'll be trying to tell you is, okay, I know you haven't seen it yet, but pray about it. Take some time um, to think about it. You know, when the Holy Spirit has spoken to you, you can come back to me. No pressure. Yeah. If it doesn't work, yeah. it's okay. No pressure, yeah. <laughs> Today we have to do this thing. You know. <laughs> I don't like this so work, eh? You have to do this. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So going through that route and he's just saying this is what's not of God. Yeah, that's number one. Number two is that if God, God, even salvation is out of your free will. Salvation that is the Come best on. thing. Come that on. That's just that part. That's salvation is the best thing that can happen to you and Jesus is not going to force you to he accept it come on, I love that <laughs> but that's, but for, as in heaven forbid can die heaven forbid can divorce heaven forbid can, anything can happen or last last, when you get to heaven there will be no marriage, it's not eternal no, the no marriage though. Jesus is not forcing on you, so why would prophecy now be done done right, <laughs> so that's another thing Number three also is that God is not the author of confusion. And I know this is one He's that not. we know. He's not, a, not the author of confusion. So he will, if he has given a sign to one person, he will give a sign to another person. So mm. if he has spoken to um, Mary, he's going to speak to Joseph. Yeah. yeah. Right? So, yeah. I, mean, I mean, Joseph was in a predicament. What am I going to do yeah. now? Which one is not by Holy Ghost? What's that? Abby? <laughs> that guy this is what's really going on <laughs> then it's now easy so god will confirm his word he watches about his word to perform it right that's what the bible says yeah. so you yeah take peace of um another angle i want to say is that god doesn't benefit he doesn't benefit anything from giving you someone that you don't like come he on he doesn't benefit from you being upset you being frustrated you being unhappy he doesn't benefit Everything that God does is good and it's beautiful. So he's going to give you the best. The only caveat I can put to that is this. Sometimes if you get this kind of prophecy, let it also be from someone that you trust. Not all those people that are walking on the road and say, the Lord sent me from Togo to Nigeria. It's not that one I'm talking about. Those ones probably want to collect your money. Of course, any prophet yeah. that also asks you for money is not from Jesus. So that mm. for this prophecy I'm giving you, bring money. is not from Jesus. It's not from God. Right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, so um, he doesn't, God doesn't profit anything from giving you someone you don't like. But the caveat I want to put in that is now, if a trusted pastor or prophet has given you this word 
and you don't necessarily see that person like that. Take your time to also study the person. Take yes. your time to actually pray and actually go hear from the Spirit of God. Because the truth about it is that we've heard those stories before. That even your friend that you have been seeing every day, every day, every day, every day, you didn't say anything in the friend. The day your best friend said, ah, I like this, your friend, though, your eyes opened. Suddenly you became protective of your friend. You became jealous. You started seeing that your friend has six packs. You started seeing that your mm. friend is sitting well. You started seeing that your friend yes. is relocated. So you yes. You started seeing everything. So sometimes, um, like Pastor Bimba was also teaching the content container principle, there are some things about a person that can change physically, right? So if um, um, a person, for example, has mouth odor, it can change. If a yes. person, for example, doesn't know how to color combine, it can change. If a person, for example, is overweight or underweight, it can change. So don't just base your, your opinion, ah, no, 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 it doesn't look the way I want. It can change. Some of you that have, some of you that have watched the train movie, you can say that Brian Mike was proposing to see that Gloria, but she didn't see him like yeah. that at all. Today, they've been married for God knows how many years. So for me, that's just yeah. the happiest to do it. Wow, that's, that's just so powerful, Elty. Thank you, because that's just the truth. In fact, if you are teachable, you will learn a lot. If yes. you are teachable, you will transform. Some people are not teachable. They will tell you, what, what do you mean? My math is men. What do you mean? And, and that's how they, they will meet the partner that God has ordained for them. Or what do you yes. mean? I don't have to combine. What? So you're telling me that I'm not good in... Uh, that's how they will just meet the partner that God has ordained for them. Because in life, if you are not teachable, you cannot go far. You have to be teachable. You have to learn how to unlearn some things and learn new way of doing things like so many things i have to unlearn so mm. many things i just have to unlearn because i feel this, yeah. this thing i'm doing if i continue like this i won't go far and just yes. have to be teachable like my like my partner when i was in courtship the very first um because i have to be very fast speaker LT, before you can't hear me like this you mm -hmm. cannot you have to strain your ears you have to be on top of your game to really hear me before you can actually hear me you know i speak so fast then so now watching the case of my first speaker, I'm being a first speaker. I listened to uh, about three good uh, um, first speakers too. Uh, Pastor B is one of them. Pastor B is one of them. Another person that I buy, people that speak so fast with my own worst case. And I just totally lost, you know, my speech like that. So when I now met my husband, when we were in courtship, the first thing, the very first Valentine gift I got from him you know, I bought him uh, gifts like on the wares, you know, like that. I just wrapped a lovely gift for him. And so when he came to give me his own gift, you know, was wrapped in a brand envelope. I so much love it. I couldn't just wait to open the gift. No, our very first, uh, I mean, um, gift exchange uh -huh. of, uh, as, yeah, in Costi Valentine. So when I got to my room, I was, you know, taking my time opening the envelope. And lo and behold, I so in the envelope, a brother grandma, one and two. I'm like, maybe this was a mistake. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure this, this, this gift is for me. And so when I opened it, I flip it over. I saw a note on a piece of paper that said, uh, I love you so much to leave it the way I hey. met you. I've I, I seen that you are going places and that you are a global gift. But you need to watch your senses wow. and and her. And I tell you, LT, right there I was crying I'm like me. Mm. I was actually so been crying I'm like what? I was a copper already serving that time. I'm like wow. what nonsense? What is it? The only thing you remind and say, don't don't forget. You said God should give you a man that will add value to your life. Mm. And so this is the value being had there. So just be humble enough to receive this. And right there in the room, I wet my chest. I'm like, okay. I couldn't just, in fact, for two days, I don't want to see him. Because I'm like, so you mean I'll be saying is instead of what? I'll be saying what instead of is, you know, something like that. Do you understand? Because I speak so fast. I couldn't, you know, I didn't know that. And nobody could hear me because he loved me too much. He paid attention to my speech and he said, no. Let's work on this together. And if mm -hmm. I, I said, what nonsense? What do you mean mm -hmm. of that? What do you, why would you, why would you think, of, I mean, think like that, that I need to start studying brother grammar that I read in school, you know, and mm -hmm. I just, I would just miss the gift yeah. that God 
are sent to me to be my husband. Because it takes the one that God really sent to you to pay attention and to really do the needful and not be in a hurry to marry a perfect person, but to say, no, this is an assignment in this person's life. I will do that assignment. But if you are not teachable enough, you will not do any assignment. You will have walked away. I will have started on it, and that will be the end of everything. But now I'm enjoying more of that in my marriage 11 years down the line. So, like what you said, you have to be teachable enough to be ready to learn because you can change anything and anything you desire to change. It's very possible to, to transform your life from A to Z if only you will humble yourself and you, I mean, you will learn more and all. Yeah. I have said that. that. Okay, okay, to... all right. Yeah, I'm going to go on. Okay. So, I have a All right, I understand. We are in the house now. We are at home. <laughs> I have to tell you, don't disturb me at this time. I, so, but I know it's, it's older than it's older than the. Yeah, All right. So, yeah, are you okay, dear? Yes, I'm fine, ma'am. Okay. All right. All right. So now that we have a lot of people on social media, and then I want to ask a question so that I can help us with that people on the call tonight. That um, people are like, where exactly can you find? Are there still good people? Do we oh. still have? Kingdom, kingdom guys and kingdom thieves, where can they be found? I'm going to say, so how can you find the right person? What do you say about that? <laughs> Let me quickly use styles to go back downstairs and start charging this phone. So, PB, sorry, just give me about 20 more seconds. Okay. We talk so that this phone will not die. Okay, it's okay. Okay. All right. Good to go. Okay. So, do we still have kingdom guys and kingdom sisters? Yeah. People that are not <laughs> pretending, people that they are not um they are not just um using church as a cover up, that they are genuine people? Mm. Mm. Yes. So um, I think I already told my story a bit about how I had been with so many guys. Even guys, see, I knew I was not going to marry any of them. I knew, but I was still in the relationship with them. I would still introduce them as my boyfriend. I would still go out with them and all of that. But I knew that I was not supposed to marry them. But I was going to settle because I felt, oh God, I've searched all over now. I can't find anybody, Right. And you know, sometimes when you are used to being in a relationship, and that's that's a topic for another day. When you are used to being in a relationship, yes. to be out of a relationship might be it will now be a problem for you. You feel like you need to always be in a relationship. Yes. Yeah. But God surprised me, and He sent my husband my way when when I was not even looking for him. That's right. Definitely. So you, first of all, you need to believe that there are good people, right? Yeah. Um, they are still there, and you need to be patient enough to wait. You need to pray for your steps to be ordered. And you yourself, you also need to be very discerning. We can pass time is always talking about discernment. All this yes. talk of church boys are this, church boys are that. It's very unfortunate, but apparently it's a reality. So you yourself, the homework is now for you to be very discerning. So that when Bra Kule, who is choir director of XYZ ministry, comes to you, you will not just relate with him on that level. You need to quote and unquote, strip away that HOD title first and look through him. You need to strip away that pastoral title and look through him. For those of us that are with pastors or ministers or men of God or people in high ranking, it's very easy for us to become intimidated by their ranks, not consciously, but subconsciously. It's easy, especially for ladies, to fall into the trap of, oh my God, this great man likes me. Oh my God, this is such a great man. What again am I checking now? I people like him before. And all you ladies, everybody should just look straight. I know ladies scope some pastors from their seats, especially if the pastor is single. Even when he's not single, he's fine. He's anointed, speaking grammar, dressing well, right? So sometimes this man of God now comes to you and says he wants to go out with you. Ah, you need to calm down and still try to be discerned even about him. He might be a great man, but he might not be the great man for you. He might mm. even be the 
you wow. but there are still some things that need to be worked on before you guys can be in a relationship because wow. you don't want to come up to somebody and one year down the line that you find that you have an irreparable problem or a problem that takes wow. you two steps backwards yeah. so, um, yeah. you need to be patient you need to believe god that he has your best interest at heart you need to yeah. pray for yourself or that's the right people but more so the homework is on you to be absolutely discerning about all men and women whether they're pastors mm. hod's and whatever yes. 10 years in church get saved whatever wow so you need to be discerning. It's very important. You are very right. Because that was what saved me. About your, the man that wanted to be with you and the wine and all of that. I'm like, who else? Ah, uh, yes. Spirit? Who else? Yes. Help me. Wow. I would have, I would have entered a wrong marriage because ah. my parents, that, that my number one, you know, in my life, and they're already, you know, in love with this guy. And they stood mm -hmm. their ground that this guy is okay. Why are you saying no and all of that? I couldn't explain that hmm, this, there's something going on. There's fire on the mountain. That even you guys, you will never rest in your life if I ever married such a guy. Now, I've been married since 11 years LT. We, I mean, uh -huh. from Abuja, we came to Lagos. I mean, to Lagos about um, nine years ago. And my father lived in Lagos. But he does not know my house. Probably he would have been here if my husband had been beaten or fighting me or I'm miserable or something. He would tell you, enjoy your life. I don't have to come to your house to come and know what is going on. But if it was that guy I got married to, oh my God. It's, it's mm -hmm. in fact, I wouldn't know what it's because it's so, it's so friendly. It's so good looking. It can frustrate as tall as he is. Everybody like him. But <laughs> the intent of the, out of the man, the Bible says, it is desperately wicked. But mm -hmm. you can know it by the help of the Holy Ghost. Yes. That was what saved me. You cannot be scared of a man by the help of the Holy Ghost that will give you instructions to say, go to Lagos. I'm like, Lagos, to so do what? And he said, don't go to your house. Straight to his own house. I said, the Holy Ghost knows that he will not be at home that time. And That's his apartment fine. will be open for me to access. And I said, the apartment. And, this, and, and in fact, my eyes went straight to that angle. I don't miss the road because the Holy Ghost was in, I mean, was in charge. And that was how I escaped such a, in fact, if I might such a God, I won't be here tonight. I there's no I can hear my voice. I'm a I'm a pastor, I'm doing something because he said that day, did you touch those bottles? That was the first thing he said to me. Did you touch Imagine. those bottles? I'm like, really? He said, because that bottle, no woman I, I like no woman. The woman wasn't touch that bottle. I said, Oh my god, so I will have married you, you'll have told me, don't sit here, don't enter here. Ah my goodness. So my parents now said now they would have stood what i stood for that no i'm not going there because you will not be my marriage with me there's something i saw and i haven't seen it going again against what I mean, the lord showed me is like i'm actually giving myself i'm shooting myself you know i, I, I mean with guns that's what it means to me and i escaped that so like you said the signing is very key when you're trying to make this decision of the life partner after salvation yeah. the, the most important decision to make yeah is who to get married to and like lt said if we were not forced um i mean the bible say i present to you life and death and we were not coerced into choosing life he said he only advise us to choose life so that we may live and our descendants yeah. can even live longer so if we were not forced into salvation i'm not sure we should be forced into marriage lt okay. please you got to wrap up this session and we are running I'm running out of this time right now. So I will tell me I'm going to come back. I'm still 20 seconds. Let me just go so that I'll bring it back. Yes. yes. Yeah. Time is gone. Let me tell you so that I'll come back. Thank you.